Whoopi has to rest her ginormous mouth in bad attitude. Whoopi Goldberg is in total panic mode, and you won't believe why. Insiders are revealing that she's had to pay out a whopping $10 million in a pre-trial defamation lawsuit, and that's not all. Real jail time may be on the horizon. From co-hosts turning their backs to massive lawsuits and bankruptcy, Whoopi's world is crashing down, and we've got all the explosive details. Stay with us to uncover the truth behind the scandal that's shaking Hollywood to its core. But life is so short. <sighs> Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. Buckle up because the roller coaster ride of Whoopi Goldberg's career is taking some hairpin turns. The latest bombshell, a class action lawsuit against the legendary talk show host, and it's not just any lawsuit. People like John Smith, a renowned actor, and Emily Davis, an influential producer, are leading the charge. They're accusing Whoopi of public humiliation, claiming she used her platform on The View to tarnish their reputations. It's a case filled with fiery accusations, leaked emails, and behind the scenes recordings that could spell serious trouble for Whoopi. And more celebrities are coming forward, and the details are downright shocking. Jessica Taylor, a famous talk show host, and Mark Peterson, a well-respected journalist, have also joined the class action lawsuit According to court documents dated July 20th, they accuse Whoopi of unleashing a tirade of verbal abuse against them during private functions and on social media. Their stories are filled with distressing accounts of character assassination and public ridicule. I said something that I feel a responsibility for not leaving unexamined because my words upset so many people, which was never. The settlements reached in these cases are nothing short of staggering. Inside sources reveal that Jessica Taylor received a confidential settlement of $3 million on August 5th, while Mark Peterson settled for $2.05 million on August 10th. One of Whoopi's strict conditions that these cases never become public. An insider close to the situation confided will be pleaded with them to keep everything under wraps, fearing that it would further tarnish her already beleaguered reputation. But despite her best efforts, the story has unraveled, laying bare the extent of Whoopi's alleged misconduct. As whispers grow into shouts, the walls seem to be closing in on the embattled TV legend. More claimants are reportedly considering legal action and the stakes are becoming increasingly dire. What began as whispers in Hollywood's corridors has now exploded into a full-blown crisis. Whoopi's downfall is the talk of the town, and it seems that the once unbreakable star might finally be facing her reckoning, and it gets even worse. Whoopi's co-hosts on The View are distancing themselves, fearing they could be dragged into the legal quagmire. A source close to the show said that they're afraid of being taken down with her. Scandalous. The View? is off the air, finally. The tension doesn't stop at the co-hosts. It permeates the entire team behind The View. Executive producer Sarah Thompson is particularly livid, having had to navigate constant disruptions and legal hurdles associated with Whoopi's actions. Speaking anonymously, a team member revealed, Sarah is just done with all the drama. It's affecting everyone's work, and the morale has never been lower. She said more than once that the day Whoopi leaves will be a day of relief for everyone. The atmosphere behind the scenes is now thick with frustration and resentment. Key staff members like director James Harris and lead writer Melissa Clark are expressing their dissatisfaction openly. They've been with The View through thick and thin, but Whoopi's legal troubles are proving to be the last straw. James was overheard saying, it's like walking on eggshells around here. Whoopi's issues are making our jobs impossible, Melissa added. We all used to admire her, but now we just want her to move on so we can get back to doing what we love. As the discontent grows, the question on everyone's mind is whether Whoopi can survive this storm or if her days on The View are numbered. The once vibrant and joyful set has turned into a place of stress and uncertainty, all centered around the turbulent figure of Whoopi Goldberg. And back to Whoopi's financial problems. Remember when Whoopi settled a similar lawsuit back in 2015 for a whopping $5 million? Well, now she's practically bankrupt, following reports that she recently paid a staggering $10 million in total as compensation for reputation damage to avoid litigation. We're aware of $3 million going to Jessica Taylor and $2.5 million to Mark Peterson. As for the remaining $4.5 million, the recipients of that sum are currently shrouded in mystery. Industry insiders are saying this could be the final nail in her financial coffin. But what about her last hope, The View? That's gone too, thanks to a Writers Guild strike over unfair wages and working conditions. The strike sent shockwaves through the industry and The View was one of the casualties. As one union representative put it, the fallout from the strike affected the show's quality as the witty banter and thought-provoking discussions we've come to expect started to dwindle. The show had to go off the air, leaving Whoopi without her final lifeline. Now, here's where things get really juicy. Seeing that Whoopi's willing to pay, other celebrities have decided they might as well jump on the bandwagon. Names like singer Michael Johnson and comedian Sarah Lee are reportedly considering suing her too. 
insiders warn in general, she is without money, without a show and new lawsuits are on the way. And this already threatens not with a fine, but with imprisonment. The legal challenges are coming fast and furious. The possibility of imprisonment is now being discussed seriously among legal experts. A former prosecutor revealed with the amount of evidence stacked against her jail time isn't just a threat, it's a stark reality. The chilling prospect of jail time for Whoopi isn't just theoretical. It's grounded in the history of legal precedents involving celebrities. In 2007, actor Tim Richardson faced a two-year prison sentence for a similar public humiliation case that ruined his career. Again, in 2013, media mogul Catherine Simmons was incarcerated for 18 months for comparable offenses. Whoopi's case shares striking similarities with these instances, making her situation even more precarious. Um, people online are split about this. The support that Whoopi could typically expect from her team and the show seems to have evaporated. Insiders reveal that The View has denied her legal assistance actively working to distance themselves from her and the ongoing lawsuit. A source close to the network's legal department stated, The View is doing everything it can to keep this lawsuit focused solely on Whoopi. They're drawing a clear line between her actions and the show. Whoopi is left to face these enormous legal challenges with her legal team, a situation made all the more difficult by the strained relationships and frustrations among her coworkers. So here's the dramatic panorama. Lawsuits led by influential figures, a rumored massive payout, a crippling writer's guild strike, co-hosts turning their backs, and a terrifying prospect of bankruptcy and even jail. What was once a glamorous career has turned into a cautionary tale in the blink of an eye. And sources close to Whoopi are saying that this is far from over. I'm leaving (laughs) y'all. Many insiders whisper that a tell-all book might be in the works, potentially penned by someone close to the set of The View. This memoir could expose more behind, the scene's chaos further tarnishing the once shining reputation of the show and its hosts. With the show's already declining viewership due to the strike and internal disputes, such a revelation could be the final nail in its proverbial coffin. Adding to the cascade of problems, some advertisers are reportedly considering pulling their sponsorship from The View, fearing the negative publicity associated with the unfolding drama. As the financial implications of the situation become even graver, it's clear that this storm surrounding Wubi is leaving a vast wake of damage not only to her, but to everyone associated with her professional journey. The mood on the set is described by insiders as tense, with many of the crew and support staff worried about their job security amidst this whirlwind of scandals. They've witnessed firsthand the rise and now the potential fall of a TV icon. As they brace for what comes next, one thing is certain. The world of celebrity gossip has never seen a drama quite like this before. The shockwaves of Whoopi's ongoing legal and professional drama are being felt far and wide, and they have sparked a torrent of reactions from fans and viewers of The View. While some are dismayed by the unfolding events, others are less surprised and their comments reflect a broader discontent with the show and its hosts. One YouTube user laments the overall behavior of the show's hosts, stating, it's not just Whoopi's fault. All the hosts have said things that made me turn the channel. This comment reflects a sentiment that the problem isn't isolated to Whoopi alone. The brashness and unfiltered opinions that were once the charm of The View have turned into a repellent for some audience members who find the host's words increasingly off-putting. Another comment offers a more scathing critique, suggesting that the show should have been canceled long ago due to a lack of accountability. It should have been canceled a long time ago because there was never any accountability for the crap they were saying about people. She needs to take a good look in the mirror. A third commenter even challenges the fundamental premise of the show, expressing disbelief at the host's approach. Did these vile women really think they could make money by insult and saying mean things? This comment not only questions the integrity of the hosts, but also throws a spotlight on a media culture that thrives on controversy and vitriol. These comments and others like them serve as a barometer of public sentiment at a time when The View is under intense scrutiny. They reflect a complex mixture of disappointment, frustration, and even a sense of vindication among those who feel that the show has finally been held to account. As Whoopi's story continues to unravel, the voices of fans and critics alike will surely play a critical role in shaping the narrative of this extraordinary chapter in television history. What do you make of this extraordinary downfall? Do you think Whoopi's at fault here or are there others to blame? How do you feel about the comments we shared from fans just like you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you all for tuning in and joining us on this wild ride through the fascinating world of celebrity rumors. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest updates. Until next time, stay curious, stay entertained, and keep those comments coming. Peace out.